JXP. The morning show starts now. We all have dozens of products in our own bathrooms, but some of the ones you use every day could actually be making your skin worse. So joining us now with the products that you need to get rid of is Dr. Kalpana De Pascale. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. I love it because this is the time where you really need to go through and get rid of some stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the big things that I would say, and this is going to surprise everybody, the big thing you need to get rid of in your bathroom is soap. Really? Why? That's what you need to be clean, right? That's what we think. That's what we think. But what happens is soap is a basic product, so the pH is about 9.5, and your skin is slightly acidic. So when you put that product on your skin, what it does is it disrupts that pH barrier. That barrier is actually necessary to help us prevent the bad bacteria from growing, keeping that good bacteria there. When you strip it, you get dryness, flaking, and that tight, weird feeling that you get from soap. And you're trying to put other things on, like lotions, to compensate for that. And it's just kind of like this cycle. So are there things we should use instead? Yes. What you want to use instead would be a nice pH-balanced body wash. And look for ones without a whole lot of chemicals, ones that have more natural ingredients. Cool. All right. What else do we need to get rid of? So your lotion. So after you get out of the shower, you mm -hmm. lathered up with soap. You're so totally dry. And then you're slathering your body on with lotion. Mm -hmm. Lotions have all kinds of bad chemicals. Number one would be aluminum. It clogs your pores. Petroleum, which is a byproduct of the distillation of gasoline, so that can't be good. No. And no. also alkylamides, which are toxic chemicals that are used to kind of thicken the lotion. On the label, you'll see them as MEA, DEA, TEA. If you don't know what it means, yeah. don't, don't use it. <laughs> Yeah, and so I find like the alternative that, that I've been using a lot is coconut oil instead of lotion. Fantastic, Like yes. what else do you recommend that we could do? So coconut oil is great. They actually sell a fractionated coconut oil, which is less greasy, which uh -huh. is really nice. Um, also shea butter, almond, uh, almond oil, cocoa butter. Those are great alternatives. But yeah. check the labels and make sure you don't see a lot of things that you can't pronounce. Right, yeah, just be natural as you can. All right, so what else? All right, so the other one is going to be sulfate shampoos. So sulfates are what creates that big lather, and we believe that Oh, that's awesome. It makes me feel really <laughs> clean. But sulfates, you'll see them on the label as any version of laurel sulfate is what you want to look for. And what that, what they do is they irritate your scalp, they damage the hair follicles that you already have, and prevent further hair growth. And, you know, the older we get, we want to keep all the hair we've got. Yes. So definitely not a good idea. And that's a challenge, too, to find something that, I guess, still gives you that sense of clean, but without all of those chemicals. So how do you approach that? So you want to find a shampoo that is sulfate-free, but you still want to check the label to make sure that it actually is sulfate free and try to just don't go with marketing to tell you what's safe mm -hmm. and healthy for you because Johnson & Johnson manufactures baby shampoo you would assume that's really good for you but they admitted to having formaldehyde in the wow. baby shampoo which is what we use to embalm dead bodies not a good thing so you really have to look at those labels and see what's good and what's not all right so you have one more thing we need to get rid of yes makeup okay. wipes so oh. first of all <laughs> people think it's a substitute for washing your face and it's not uh, all kinds of chemicals in there phenoxyethanol which is a preservative that's a chemical, propylene glycol, which is an irritant, and also formaldehyde-releasing compounds. And then last but not least, if you're any bit of an environmentalist, that stuff does not degrade in our landfills. It's got like polyester, plastic, everything, and just doesn't go away. It doesn't, and I have to put in another little like trick that I use, like talking about the coconut oil that you can yes. use for your skin. I use it on my face, and sometimes you have on a lot of makeup, and you think you need those more harsh chemicals to get everything off, but you really don't. Well, see, so you're doing all the right things. Yeah. That's why your skin is so beautiful. <laughs> so, I mean, coconut oil is great it because is. it has it's multi-purpose. You can use it for in your skin. You can use it hair. You can use it in your cooking. It's fantastic. And my skin does feel better, and, and when you really name off all those chemicals, you're like, wow, I'm putting all that on my face. So exactly. Really helpful. Thank you so much for helping us to revamp our bathrooms. Well, no problem. Get our lives and our skin together.